Hey guys, uh, I decided to go ahead and buy some loot boxes for World of Tanks and so I've already just opened one, I bought 150 of them, so that's the first one. Let's... Second one. Okay. Why is there no option to open them like five at a time? So I'm going to get 100 gold no matter what, which is a bit weak if you ask me. I have no idea why there's no audio. That's that training booklet and a day of premium. All I'm getting is days of premium. This is ridiculous. See, again, another day of premium. Let me figure out what's going on with the audio. Because I don't know why my sounds... Yeah, see? I have no clue why it's so bloody quiet. Like, why can't I just open multiple crates why why do i have to keep doing this let me guess oh more more credits okay and 100 gold or you or this is mostly just going to be credits and gold fest oh days of premium okay cool literally credits gold days of premium that's all you're going to get granted i do have 150 um things so i'm, I'm apparently guaranteed to get three tanks What's the chances I'm going to get the E77, which is the tank I want? That's all I want, is I just want the E77. I don't care about any other any of the other tanks. I just want the E77. And I'm not forking out more than what I just have. I mean, I'm on a fixed income as it is. So... Okay, well, I got a Waffen Traeger rental. Okay. And then I got some. Apparently, I've completed a mission and I got some rent, rented vehicles. Okay, another book, another dare rent. Literally, you're just. I'm probably going to end up with another fucking 150 days of premium. See? Wow, just a, a simple one day of premium. Come on, more gaming. I honestly should have blown the money on getting the improved pass and just getting my tokens. You, you, you truthfully will get more for your money if you just buy the improved pass. I hate to say it, but you would. You'd get more credits, you'd get more boosters, you'd even get some um, better equipment. It's true. I hate to say it, but it's true. You would. Oh, wow. 200k free EXP. For a player like me that doesn't care about EXP because the idea of the game is to, to, to grind, you know, to play the tank, to, you know. Like I said, all I want, no, no, no joke, all I want is a fucking E77. That's all I want. And everyone's like, but it's a shit tank. I don't fucking care. I don't care that if you think it's a shit tank. I just want it because I just want a tier 9 heavy tank. It's a premium that I'm going to enjoy the fuck out of. And that's the thing. It looks like I'm going to enjoy playing with that tank because it plays my, it does my play style. I like to knife fight in my heavies. I do it with my Yagi E100. I do it with my E75. I, so why the hell would I not get the E77? Yeah. Oh, the gun's shittier than the, than the E. e okay. Cool. Great. Again, more gold. More. Okay. Cool.
another rental for the eight. Uh, see, that's the thing. I, this, I won't mind, the Waffentrager E100, but to me, it's an insult because I actually owned the Waffentrager E100. The original, you know? And then they nerfed it, nerfed it, nerfed it, nerfed it, and then I was like, fuck it, I sold it. And everyone's like, so you're not going to get, you don't want the, 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 the replacement. I was like, no, the replacement's a fucking insult, which it is, by the way, Wargaming. I don't give a shit what you say. Oh, it's got the most accurate gun. Really? Does it play like it's got the most accurate gun in the game? See, you can say it's got point two whatever on paper. What it actually does in game, completely fucking different. And so, yeah, we're just watching me open up these boosters and dying inside. I just fucking got the tank I want. Holy shit. On my first box, I got my E77. Oh. Oh, I'm happy now. <laughs> I've got the Chieftain T95 on the uh, NA server, and I've got the Yagi prototype on the NA server. I don't have them on the EU server. This is the EU server. Ooh, I'm, I'm, I, mm, man. You have no idea how happy I am. That's the first fecking tank I unlock. <laughs> 3D style for the Leopard 1. Alright. Alright. Me likey. Me likey. Now we're getting some good fucking... We've sifted through the ship. It's like when you first get a booster pack of Magic the Gathering cards. You know you know for a fact the first, like, six boosters in that top... So the first top row in the box is all junk fucking rares. And the really good rares are right balls deep at the bottom. I guess that's what we're doing. And so, so I'm answering a quick Discord message because I just literally posted a screenshot of me getting that tank, and everyone's like, "Ah, losing their fucking shit." So I'm happy about that. So I got that. See now, what to me would make it very interesting is if they had a limited amount of those tanks in the gift boxes like there's only 400 in here 200 in here 100 in here 50 in here you know what i mean that to me would make some of the loot boxes actually worth it like if they if they re-released certain tanks in the game like if they if they put put out a, a special crate yeah that gives you like a 50 50 chance of getting like a Waffentrager E100 or, you know, a, or a BZ176. You know, tanks that, that, that Wargaming know. Oh, there we go, another rental for that baby. Oh, gimme, gimme, gimme. Christmas. It's Christmas to me, baby. Christmas to me. Now I want to some more free EXP Wargaming. You know, all I want is the free EXP Wargaming. You know, that's the whole fucking negative, you know, mindset. I have no idea why I just got a 56 TP. <laughs> why? Shit. <laughs> it's a shit. Tank. I'll take it out and get some games in it for you. But I know for a fact that it is a horrible tank. It is a horrible tank. I've got one more guaranteed roll after these. Wow, just these crates are junk. All right, so yeah, like I said, let me guess. If I keep slagging it off, I'm gonna get more free EXP. These crates are junk. These crates are junk. These, uh, yeah, well, these crates are junk. <laughs> oh, Thunderbolt 3D style for the pattern. Nice. 
I have the patent again. I have the patent tank on the North American server, not the EU server. In fact, I haven't even looked at the American tech tree. I have not even looked at the American tech tree <laughs> on, on on the on the EU servers. I'm going I'm going German. Okay, so I've got all of the the three D styles now. Okay, was that five million or, or half a million? No, it was five million. Okay, cool, fair enough. Yeah, it's five million. All right, so I got the credits to buy my E seventy five now. Here, which is, I was actually thinking about going broke buying the E seventy five. I don't have to now. Looks like I can get the E seventy five here. All right, so we've got some, definitely got some EXP boosters going on. So I'm happy about that. Um, later on today, um, like a bit later on in the evening, I will be going live and doing the events the Waffen Traeger events I just want the Von Krieger commander that's all I want is I just want Von Krieger if they could just do it like like a one off thing like for like 20 quid buy the Von Krieger commander I would I just like his voice pack I wasted valuable time on you I just I just love the Von Krieger voice pack which is why it's in my mod pack Get ready! I'm just, I'm just so, got the E seventy E seventy seven. Got the fifty six TP. I don't know why it gave me the fifty six TP. I'm just not interested in fifty six TP. Personal training manual. I will take. They're always good. Okay, more or lesser credits. You know, some free EXP. More free EXP would be nice. Got 29 left. So I guaranteed drop. Okay, like I said, some higher free EXP would be nice. Just kidding. Now that 200k, I'm going to milk that 200k like mad. Okay, training booklet for Italy. Alright, so. Alright, I've got. You know, I'm not going to re roll that. Sweden. KV5. I've never owned a KV5. Now I do. Everyone's like, what? I've never owned a KV5. Everyone's like, what? What are you talking about? I've, I've never owned a KV5. What, why does that surprise people? I've never liked the Soviet tech tree, so why would I want the KV5? I mean, the only true technically... Uh, 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 um, Soviet tank I really have always liked was the Type 59 and that's Chinese and I only liked it because in all honesty I feared that tank because I didn't know where to shoot to pen it I was always playing in my M4 Sherman and always seeing Type 59s and I know for a fact that it's like oh tap the two key well that was before I even realized you could get oh there we go that's before I could even realize you could get free uh you know you could get uh, a more penetration with them um, premium ammo and stuff so i never bothered to to use premium ammo i only ever used he or regular ap rounds and so to me the like the type 59 was like impenetrable it was like a god on the on the battlefield and i always wanted the type 59 and i i never ended up buying one because you can't i mean it does show up occasionally Okay, star for the battalion. Q Q. Q Q Q. Alright. 
one of these I might re-roll. Uh, no, I'll take the credits because credits are always good. But if I get another one which is just like a single day of premium, uh, no, I'll keep that one. That one I will take. So I've got the KV-5, the Polish T-56, my E-77 on the first fucking try. Oh my god. <laughs> I am gonna fucking just have a blast with that tank. Even though, yes, I know the gun on it is like its downfall. Don't care. I'm not using it for, for the gun. Fucking free EXP gods are loving me right now. I, I don't plan on using it for its its gun Krimus. I'm I'm not planning on using it for its gun. I'm planning on using it for technically the gun, but also its ramming capability, same as the KV5. I need to start getting into skilling up crews to do things like ramming and various other things. But the problem with that is if you want to take a crew and make it good, you have to get them to at least a ter third tier of skill. Skill one, brother in arms. Well, in this case, repairs till you max it out, then brother in arms. While the second skill being repairs, max that out, then you swap out uh, 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 repairs for, for you know, the, the, the specific skill that you want. And for the commander, it would be view range. For the radio operator, it would be view range. For the gunner, it would be, um, you know, penetration increase or shell velocity increase or whatever you want to use you know, kind of thing for the driver it would be controlled impact especially if you're going to be doing you know and then your third tier of skills repairs you know because you don't want to remain tracked out in the open where anyone can oh what have i got what have i got what have i got oh that silly freaking i've, I've already got this tank the pokiek ion i've already got the normal version the t56 version i've already got that but i got the pocket iron i'll take it um yeah i won't mind another one of it got another one of these just saying wargaming like two of these maybe three i'll be a happy chap Was that my guaranteed? Okay, so that's for the object. Do I want, do I want to re-roll this? No, I, 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 no, I'll keep that. Um, I, like I said, I don't plan on going down the Soviet tech tree. I have the KV-2. Don't ask me how I got the KV-2 because I've not unlocked anything before the KV-2. I just logged into my account one day and I had the KV-2. And it's not the premium KV-2. This is, I'm not, I, I'll show you after this. I am not kidding. I will show you this afterwards. It is, uh, um, I'm not, you know, I'll, I'm going to re-roll that. Yeah, let's re-roll that. There we go. <laughs> they gave me an additional thing instead of regular day, day of premium. I'll take that. Credits, okay. Then we'll re-roll that. Yeah, I'll take the credits instead. Okay, credits and that and that. Everyone's like, oh my god, you're getting all these good tanks. I was like, no, I only wanted the E77, which is true. We'll re-roll that. Single days of premium, just re-roll them. To be honest with you. 
Okay, I'll take that. Right. I have no idea why the audio is so quiet. Engineer style toolkit. Okay, cool. Oh, okay, all right. Okay, so what's this? Nah, okay, Astron Rex. Um, okay. I'm not a fan of the Astron Rex, but I'll take it. It'll be good for leveling up my um, American mediums. See, on the North American server, I focused on the American tech tree because that was my very first primary account. And that, back then, that all there was was um, Germany, Soviet, Soviet Union, and America. And I wanted the Allies, and that happened to be America, so I picked America. So I burned through those, and I realized, oh, wait, I can actually earn every Sherman tank. another person training mat that's worth it because that's like a guaranteed rank up in your skills no matter what rank your commander is it's guaranteed rank up so if you really want to burn through a commander max him out that way every time you play that tank you're just getting after a certain amount of experience you're getting a free booklet to just spend 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 you know excuse me i've got 19 more more crates to open up We've actually walked away with more than just three premium tanks. I thought I was only going to be walking away with one, maybe two. But we've actually walked away with um, four right now. Thank you, phone. We've walked away with four right now. The Astron Rex, KV-5, um, the TP-60, the, 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 um, the, TP the uh, Ion, and... Uh, no, we walked away with six so far. And the um, E-77. And the E-77 was the one I wanted. I didn't want... I don't want that. Okay. And apparently the Chieftain T95 now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've got it on both accounts. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Here I am bitching about... Uh, bitching about them, you know. Okay, we'll re-roll that. Alright. Well, apparently, I must have gotten a tank I've already got in my collection because it's just giving me a shit ton of gold. And I, did, I must not have seen it. So... Hundred and fifty crates at a hundred gold. So that's only fifteen hundred gold. Yeah, it'd be You're making me have to No, yeah, it's that's that's correct, that's correct, my brain brain fart. Alright, training booklet Sweden, day of premium.
another personal training manual that is lovely so we've, we, we've walked away with a few premium tanks that I genuinely didn't think I would okay the account the premium account time I, I, I like I'll take and the gold I will use to buy the um, advanced um, Alright, so we're out of crates. It's fine. We got the E77. We got the Project Ion. We didn't get the Lapitz Panzer, uh, uh, Lech de pa Lapitz Panzer 70. That's fine. I really didn't want it anyway. Um, but we did walk away with the Ashron Rex, the Ch Ch Chieftain T95, the KV5. I didn't get the Gonzalo. Um, and we also. Uh, we've also got some of these keys. I have no idea what the keys unlock. Uh, so we walked away with, you know, a, a bunch of keys. Again, I have no idea what the keys unlock. Let's look at 3D stars. Yep, we've got some 3D stars. So we walked away with a ton of gold, ton of EXP, free EXP. Let me just move the um, the webcam. Just move me over here. Hi, how you doing? Um, so we walked away and we can actually take a look. So we walked away with a ton of stuff. So there it is. There's my E77. Oof, oof, oof. Just, just oof. Alright, so first things first, we're going to take a look at the ammunition loadout. 65, uh, uh, mm, I'll keep one in case I see arty. Uh, okay, alright. 246 is okay. We can make that work. 311, Gar ooh, 311 apps are freaking lootly. Now let's take a look at this real quick. I want to take a look and see what it gets. Vehicle hit points and engine power. Okay. So we could max this out at what? 140k. Ouch. I will free yeah, I won't free EXP that, I will regular EXP that. But what I am going to do is go to my Iggy 2 research. Buy this E75. Buy it with that crew, buy that, do that, purchase. Reason why is because I want I I I I want the um <laughs> let's be honest, I want the E one hundred. Okay, I want my E one hundred. Okay. I love my E one hundred, I want my E one hundred. Now I will do that later on off screen, but what I want to show you now is my Russians. Okay, so I have the KV-5, cool. All I know is that you've got to reverse side scrape in this thing and keep your two Daleks safe, cool. 
That's not my problem. My problem is, is this. I have a KV-2. Yes, it's the same gun that's on the KV, uh, KV-85, by the way. Uh, KV-5, by the way. Now, this is my problem. If I'm to show you my tech tree... Oh, go to Russia. Are you starting to see a problem? Take a look. I'll go slow. Now, notice I have nothing previously unlocked. Literally, it's all EXP based, so think about it. I, I don't even have the first gun, so that means I can't progress forward without unlocking this gun. So I've never played... I'll even, I'll even show you my, 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 my battle account if you want. So, if I've never played the MS1... Therefore, I've never played the BT-2. Now, the BT-2, yeah, for some reason, I've got experience on, but I've never played it. Because I've never unlocked it. Okay. So, BT-5, never played it, never unlocked it. T-28, never played it, never unlocked it. KV-1, Never played it. Never unlocked it. Yet somehow I have the KV-2 unlocked. And no one's been playing this account. Because again, if even if someone had been, had been playing my account. These tanks would be permanently unlocked. It's not like my profile was different from my profile on another computer. That's not how Wargaming works. When you unlock a tank, it updates your server profile on their end. So no matter where you log in in the world, as long as you log into the correct account, you will have that tank unlocked. So somehow, somewhere down the line, I've magically unlocked the KV-2 without unlocking the KV-2. But I have the KV-2 unlocked. Go figure. Um, on the Americans, like I said, nothing unlocked on the Americans. Which is completely unlike me because, as some of you guys may or may not know, I am a huge fan of the American tanks, of American mediums. I love knife fighting. I love brawling. And so, yeah, explain that, because I can't. Nothing in the, 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 the French, thank Christ. British, um, I went down the charioteer because I want to get the FV. That's pretty much it. I just want to get the FV. I don't care about the Conquerors. Uh, I don't care about the Badger, the Tortoise, or anything like that. I mean, I, I originally wanted to get the Badger and then the FV and do an apples to orange comparison. But, nope. Uh, I believe, it's not the Polish, it's the... Um, Italian. I went down the Italian tech tree because I wanted to get to the Russia Cronte. And then I realized I wasn't liking the Italian tanks. So I said, sod it, let's go to the Germans. And et voila, here I am. I'm at the Germans as we speak. I'm not pushing any further in German artillery. No point. GW Panther is all I need. I'm happy with the GW Panther. Everyone's like, what do you mean? GW Panther is all I need. Now, yes, 
I could burn through my EXP and get my Yagi E100 like that and be a very happy man and just play the Yagi E100 all day. And I might very well do that. I don't know yet because I've got the E77. And I like to brawl. I like to knife fight. And you can't do that at the beginning first. See, you can't do that in the VKs at all. You can't do that in any of these VKs. But you can do it if you know what you're doing with the Tiger 2, with the E75, and the E100. Especially the E100. The E100 is bred for brawling. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> That's it, guys. A uh, ton of premium days. Uh, a ton of 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 other things, EX, free EXP credits, gold, a ton of a ton of premium tanks. We got the KV five in the Soviets. We got the T fifty six, fifty six TP, um, in the Polish. Didn't we get something from Sweden? No, we didn't get anything from Sweden. Didn't get anything from Ita anything Italian. So I'm just going to do this. And we're going to go... Bump, bump, bump. And just do this. So we got the Ashton Rex. We've got the KV-5. Chieftain T-95. Project Ion. T-56 TP. And the one I wanted all along. And I, I'm not going to lie. And we've got a whole bunch of them. Um, and so, yeah, we've got the tank I wanted, which was the E-77. And I'm just like, and yes, we do. We've got like 12 rentals of the Blix Craig. I forgot about that. We've got 12 keys to, to play it. And we've also got rentals for it, too. Um... So, yeah, oh, I forgot about that. Oh, I'm a happy man. I forgot about that. Forgot about the rental keys, didn't I? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we're not going to play Waffentrager Reckoning. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Um, Let me get rid of that. Go here. Rentals. I've got 60 battles in this. Oh, look at that crew. Sorry, I zoned out there. Literally, that was just... Do, 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 do. Oh my. Um <laughs> oh. oh god I've missed this thing. I've missed it. I've missed you, baby. I've missed you. I want you home forever. War gaming won't 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 allow it. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video of me undoing the boxes, going through tech trees, small little updates. Keep just fun, keep your enemies dying. Cover Commander is out.